video has been a long awaited one, but it's finally here. 100 days in the long dark and with all the maple syrup one could ever need or maple leaf legs throughout the entire game. My plan was to kill my first ever bear in hopes of making the best outfit I could, finding a place to call home which actually became every territory I found, and doing the one thing I never wanted to do, twisting oh so many necks. This was my first ever playthrough, so please be gentle. BT Dubs, if you do enjoy these types of videos, don't forget to drop a like and hit that subscribe button and let me know what game you'd want me to play next. Now, without further ado, I spent 100 days in the long dark and here's what happened. As the typical survival game went, you'd pick a place to spawn into and hope for the best. I wasn't exactly sure what I was getting myself into, but this was about to become a long game. Ergo, the long dark. If there was one thing this game did teach me, it was patience. How to survive the different flavors of cold and making a dang fire. With all that out of the way, this was the lovely world. Cold, quiet, and animals that lurked in the dark. Most importantly, I needed to find materials. Anything to keep myself warm and full in the belly. As I jumped inside different cars, I found random items about. Looking through the glove box and anything else I could get my hands on. Oh, yo, we just, hold on. <laughs> I just got ketchup chips. <laughs> oh my God. And they have a bottle of ketchup beautiful my man was looking the best he could with a scary amount of blush on was it because of the cold or did this guy secretly work in a cold circus i don't know but what i did know was this from meds to all the food i started picking up all i really wanted or needed was a pry bar a certain tool that allowed me to open up locked containers with so many more goodies in them this game was about checking it all searching everything see a house check and scour it find a random vehicle in your path search them until you can't no more Soon enough, my guy would be looking like Prince Charming. What I did need was to harvest all the clothing I wasn't using. Carry weight in this game was very scarce at times, and clothes weighed me down way too much. I want to make it to the other house because it has a, a bond, like a fire. I want to go there. Oh God. Oh God, I cannot see. The next little obstacle in this game was weather. I had to play it carefully with how cold things could get. That's fine. Tons of matches. Awesome. Clothes are good. That's all right. Oh, yes, the gun was still there. Oh my God, it's always under this bed. Thank you. Oh, you're the best. Gray mama wolf. Gray wolf mama. That picture is terrifying. With the fire coming soon and feeling really tired, it was a matter of time. Surviving the first of many days. Today, the plan was simple. I wanted a place to call home, but more than that, I needed a location to safely put all my goodies in. This led me to traveling through more of the town. Is that a wolf? Was that a wolf? Was that a wolf? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Finding a little abandoned ski office with some goodies for yours truly, I then pressed onwards and found myself gripping this rope as I climbed on down. Heights definitely had me at a loss for words here. Was I scared traversing to the other side here? No way in heck, man. Though, when it came to heights, again, they always got me. I just wasn't a fan of it. All that was left to do was finding a spooky cave, praying that no bears would jump out from the shadows and tickle my toes. So this right here is going to become home for many, many days. The Trapper's Homestead. Finally, we got a safe. Oh, how do you, huh? I don't know how to do it. Paper. Oh, right. We got the workbench right here. That was a huge thing. Okay, so this will be, I think this will be like basic medicine for now. I think this is Voyager 2, so it is a lot more items, and I am happy about that. The Trapper's Cabin would soon become my go-to drop-off place. Needed things, but no space? Drop everything off here. The idea was to loot up the Milton Town and drop everything I could back inside that Trapper's Cabin. Bad, bad idea. Whew, I can't see anything. <laughs> this is dangerous. This is a new run. This is a new run. And it's not Pilgrim this time. I turned... I think it's a... Uh, someone said Voyager. I think it's Voyager. So we have a lot more items. And the wolves are, um, are aggressive now. Everything was passive. Now they're aggressive. A real storm was brewing. And I was about to learn the hard way why you shouldn't do this. Good thing I didn't stop when I felt the need to as well. It was getting bad outside. And I just needed to make my way towards the gas station. Yay! We made it inside. Finally. Don't need spray paint just yet. Any food? Nice. Oh, that's coffee. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Don't worry. I'm back, Gray Mama's house. It's very dark, but I'm back. He's back. He's back. It also took me a good seven tries until I realized the fire just wouldn't light. This is now planned. We have a plan. Come on. Oh, here we go. Oh, da, 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 da. Ooh, start fire now. Fire, fire, now, you, fire. 
With the new day here, everything in this house would be mine. At least the stuff that wasn't moldy or just looking a little brokey. For now, I needed to pack in the calories and anything else that would fit inside my pack. Just before heading back to the cabin I sought out, it was time to take a break and check out this farmstead up ahead. Maybe I'd find a key or more goodies. <gasps> the guy's a zombie. Where's the dead guy? There was a dead guy here, right? Wasn't there a dead guy? I remember a dead guy. I don't feel comfortable enough. <gasps> dead guy! Hold on, what's that? Dead guy, give me the key, please. Give me the key. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Let's just go inside the house. Let's just go inside the house. With nighttime slowly approaching, this seemed like the perfect place to get a little fire going and anything else to fill my belly. As day four was here, I wanted to make sure everything was accounted for. And with all my important stuff in my pack, because now I was headed back towards the trapper's cabin once more. And by once more, I mean many more times, okay? <laughs> I picked up a few more things along the way, saw my first wolf that I just steered clear of, and finally felt like dropping my load. With just one more trip, because I knew there was lots to still be grabbed, it seemed that the wolves didn't want to play nice. Everyone is beautiful, though. Everyone absolutely is 100% beautiful. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't know there was like four or five wolves here. <laughs> Just gonna just gonna do this just gonna do this as a new day arose i ran down the stairs like it was christmas looking for my soon-to-be gifts still still why are you upset with me what did i do a little pup is it because you got a casing bullet in your stomach because you were dumb and you thought you could take me? While on the path, I figured it was time to go to church as well, seeing what all the hype was about. Between all the knickknacks, I found a cool little storage hidden away. What have we here? Nice, a lot of stuff. Continuing my journey outside as I wanted to pursue the rest of this map. With many more trees, a lot more open space, and cars to loot up, this was the last thing I expected. Truth be told, I wasn't sure what to expect being out here, okay? How am I gonna get past? It's a bear. Still being the curious self I was, I needed to know where the bear went. I at least had to know for the sake of not being jump scared. Ooh, yeah, it's coming back. This was probably the coolest find of them all. Polaroid? An old fo uh, Polaroid photo. There is text scribbled on the back with details on the mountainside. Mountain Town Vista. Oh. I had to just carefully backtrack and find a safe way to bed. Nighttime was coming and I was less than prepared for it. Having a gun in hand today, no one or no animal would dare to mess with me. Oh! God. Jeez, man. Yeah, I gotta get out of here. As much as I wanted some meat for my next meal, I wasn't sure how to feel about this. Yeah, I don't know if I can fight that. I'm gonna be honest. I don't- I don't know if I can fight that. Ooh! Don't go that way! I need to go that way next! What are you doing?! Thankfully, I wasn't dead, and that also gave me a way inside to the safe spot. Me and my gun were ready. I didn't go anywhere without this thing, and it also made me feel safe. Safer than safe. But that's besides the point. Now I wanted to just finish up everything I could. I would so fat finger you. <laughs> that sounded wrong. A part of me didn't want to explore anymore and just settle down. This next part, though, you won't believe what happened. And you'll only be able to see it live on twitch.tv slash ray of pandas. All that really happened afterwards was just a bunch more exploring around in circles, which did land me at the dam. What I realized as the day went on, as I passed more key points on the map, I did also find the newest place that would soon become home. Ooh, hello. What are we looking at with weights? Um, not bad, actually. This camp office was everything I both needed and wanted. A place to cook my food, both downstairs and upstairs, a workbench, and lots of stuff with many storages. For now, I needed to get everything I packed away back inside the trapper's place. It started with many drinks and food as I started to fire to cook more things. Well, this definitely wasn't in my favor. In the meantime, it was all about taking care of myself inside this place. With the food I have, I would soon learn that leaving raw or cooked meats outside was for the best. As I began surveying more of the lands, I got caught up in the moment. Being as terrified as I was, this place was filled with so many wolves, full of blind spots, and I wasn't sure how long I wanted to stay. 
Seeing that this would be the last day I'd spend in this town, there was one more thing I had to do, and that was live. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god. I think it's because I left food out in the front. I left food out in the front, and I guess they smelt the food, or me. I just gotta take it nice and slow. I'm gonna have a rock just in case. I'll have a rock. I know it. How many wolves are here? Oh, that one is following me. Oh, there's one right there too. Oh, it's going around the house though. Okay. Yo, this is... Oh, I do not like it. It's so sketchy because I, I know we're two... Okay, there are two wolves for sure. Coming back is going to be... Is, is going to be something. I can tell you that much. It's going to be a little sketch. Or a lot sketch. With nothing but a rock in hand, I was slowly starting to freeze my buns and was desperate for a fire. If that wasn't going to work, I needed something a lot stronger. And thank the gods, I was close to the ski office. It had exactly what I needed and to give me a little nap so I could warm up faster. Getting back wasn't so bad and it honestly gave me hope once I saw the cabin again. Having woken up to a new day here, my travels had me back inside the town of Milton. I know, I know, I said that was the last time. I figured this one would be an easy walk, but seeing that temperature was being drained three times as fast, that wasn't happening anytime soon. It wasn't that bad anymore. After a while, things were a little bit nippy outside, and I needed a place to lay low. Thankfully, with only minutes away, I could actually rest my feet. Um... What is happening to the power? I legit thought that was... Uh, I thought that was my headset. Look at the TV. It's just, what is the spookiest thing ever? It looked like, whoa. Whoa. So the radiation will actually start to affect everything outside too. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, oh, oh my God. I've never seen the Northern Lights or Southern Lights or any lights like this. Ooh, big old moon. Today was another day I realized how cold it really was outside. I thought a nice little walk back to the trapper's cabin would be easy enough, but seeing that the temperature was draining me three times as fast, that wasn't happening anytime soon. I decided to give it some time while waiting it out, scrapping down anything I could and seeing what else I could fit into my pack. With it being much warmer later in the day, I could finally make some progress back towards the climbing rope. Afterwards, meeting up with the cave, and then finally I was seconds from the cabin. From all that I looted back inside the gas station to almost searching every single house available, it was now time to shine and begin my adventure in a new territory. Something I tried to remember was reading the skill books. Earlier in the game, they did give great experience, but as time went on, it felt like they would eventually fall off. As you could probably tell, I spent a little too much time gathering some wood, sticks, and all of the above. This would last me a while as I planned on reading those books the same day. What is happening? Is it another one of these weird nights? I think it is. Ooh. <laughs> oh man, I'm guessing these things happen more often than not. Well, there I am going back in. Headed towards the camp office, I was close to a wonderful pond for fishing and loads of other stuff. Oh, look at the wind resistance. Wind proof bonus plus two. Look at this. Plus four percent. Or four, like, sorry, four. Oh, oh, oh. The windbreaker is what I need. I keep getting hit by the wind. That that hurts so much. Technically, I feel like you guys are playing with me. So every time I say we, that's why I know a lot of people had problems when I kept saying we instead of like me as in like I'm focusing. This is my adventure. Well, there was no way I was going anywhere else right now. Woo! That is a huge storm. Okay. It turns out when you played through any of the difficulties compared to the custom settings, the Aurora lights happened a lot more often. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I mean, it's going to be so bright. Oh, there's another storm going on. Oh my God. Oh, it's freaking me so out. hungry in my life. Today, I was running back towards the trapper's cabin, looking to migrate stuff over from one place to the next. Something I had to say as well before I get roasted here, okay, was how I didn't know how easy it was to actually craft arrows. I thought it started with the simple arrows, okay, and that needed arrowheads. But now it was time to test out my throwing skills. 
While playing through Long Dark, I noticed that stones could tame the rabbits in game, and I needed to test this out for myself. <laughs> oh, I finally killed my first rabbit. What the fudge? Oh, oh, it wasn't dead. I... Dude, it was playing dead. Oh, no, 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 no. That was a good hit. You suck my left testicle. That was a good hit. Come here and suck it. <gasps> go, 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 go. How do I do this? How do I do this? Oh, I just snapped his neck. Oh. Um. Oh, my God. Day 15 was about to be an interesting one. I wanted to start mapping out the area using charcoal and some paper. The game was like, nah, I have different plans for you, okay? Ooh, it's a wolf, it's a wolf, it's a wolf, it's a wolf, it's a wolf. I want to try fighting it so badly. I'm going in naked, boys and girls! Here we go, here we go. Come at me, bro. Come at me. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I got it, 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 I got it. It's bleeding, it's bleeding it's out. First aid. Thankfully, I always had way too many meds on me, and that became a quick fix. Though the game wasn't done with me just yet. Seething from my teeth as I was extremely mad, I couldn't stop here. No, I had to push on. Finding some maple birch for later use, this other pond with some high winds, I found a little cabin up ahead. Just a few meters outside this cabin, I actually saw something very important. <gasps> There's a dead deer. Oh, I can grab the meat. Come here, little guy. Can I get your stuff? Thank you. Oh, yeah. That's it. Don't mind me. I'm all dirty now. I wouldn't have to struggle for much longer as I almost had everything I needed. As I began prepping different things for this fine morning, I wasn't about to let the wolf stop me here. Also, don't mind how noodles my guy was, okay? Nude. Dules, yeah, you know. Most of what I did next was having myself a few trips to and from this place. I was looking to bring only what I needed over to the camp office. Yes. Is that normal? Hold on. Is this another event type thing I saw? Horse. You go eat a horse, sir. You go. Hey! We're getting another one of these things. The uh, the Aurori Barilios. Barillas? Now, this was about to become a problem. Huh. This looks like a blizzard. This is it's definitely a blizzard. I think you actually get an achievement or like feats or something if you survive out in the blizzard, which is crazy to me. Like how how am I supposed to survive this? That's no, that's not happening right now. That that's ridiculous. The only thing I could really do now is just get real cozy and make something hot to drink. Oh, did I get cooking too? Once the storm subsided, outside was about to be a beautiful day. I always loved that about storms. After the worst of it, the best and most peaceful would usually be close by. And now for just one more thing to take care of. I shot you in the head, sir. Oh, I can just double click and it'll put stuff on. Oh, I like that. Oh, so much easier. Oh my God, thank you. Is that a new wolf? Did I miss something? This might be a new wolf. I think. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I, I got you too. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta line up the shot. Oh, 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 let's go. Oh, you want, who want me? You want, what? Yeah, kills the wolf. Oh, oh, we're eating good tonight. Oh, that was a headshot. That was a, oh, that was such a sexy headshot. Yep, definitely one of the more spicier days. I was just happy to be back inside and safe. Today also marked the very first day I had actual meat to cook, or rather, cooked now. My plan had me deeper into the mystery lake. I was in search of a place that left me speechless, but also that filled me with so many goodies. The dam. And of course, I'd forget the one thing I really did need now. Crap! Are you kidding me? I left the lantern back at home. Uh, wait. Do you have any fuel? This stuff will come in handy. Do you have any fuel? Well, that's convenient. Huh. The whole idea was to find a certain weapon inside this location, but it seemed that all spawns were now different. Please, please, please. Oh, where's the gun now? Dang it. Really? No gun? Crap. Crap, crap, crap. This probably wasn't the smartest idea, but then again, when did I have good ideas? And yeah, 
Kixie, you knew what I was talking about. Oh, this is so bad. This is such a bad idea. I don't know why I'm doing it, but I'm doing it. I'm gonna hold a gun, just in case. Just, I don't even know, man. There's gonna be one wolf up here, I know it. It's where that deer died. There's usually a wolf there, and if, if that one before ran away, I'm trying to walk the, hold on. Could you be any harder? Are you serious? It feels like it's pushing me. Oh, 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 oh. All right, that's the big tree. It's just up here. It's that last pull over there. <laughs> oh my God, please. I think my stomach is eating itself. All in all, between the hypothermia and food poisoning, this wasn't actually that bad, more so just sleeping it off and staying warm. With any given morning, it was always assorting things in my inventory. Finding food and water, and then making sure the wolves knew who was boss. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. I don't know how I aimed before. I think I gotta, like, aim a little down. Yeah, they definitely heard that. They definitely heard that. Hold on. Ooh, I could create a pile of wolves. Oh, baby. As luck was on my side, these wolves really had it out for me. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Oh, you son of a gun. From surveying the lands to grabbing all the meat, guts, and pelt I could, I needed to make sure I didn't freeze while heading back towards the cabin. A tea was perfect for that, and gave me enough time to make it back safely. Something else I learned about the meat too, while leaving it outside, it was mostly because of stink. If you had stink on you, you would draw animals in closer, and that just wasn't cool. Day 20, I had to remind myself to drop the guts and pelt to start drying them out. It was a whole process, but once that process started, it would only get better from here on out. Now it was time to try and cook all the food I had. And also timing it with some reading for more skill points. <laughs> Looking to start my little fishing journey, the thing I learned about this was how much time I needed. Not only did I have to break open this little ice fishing spot, but I also needed the fishing lines too. How do I... Oh. The sun's setting. It's okay. It's gonna get a lot colder soon. We're fishing with our hands. Did I get anything? Oh, that's not good. Well, that's really not good. The next day I was headed back towards the trapper's place. Why? No idea. I figured it was for stuff I forgot, but let's see where this goes. Okay, okay, feathers. Feathers, take the feathers. Something that I was losing my mind on was everyone kept mentioning I needed the fishing tip-ups to fish. That wasn't the whole truth though. What I really needed was just a simple fishing line. And let me tell you, guts and metal scrap was pretty easy to come by now. Oh, it freezes over time. <laughs> Not for long. <laughs> cut, cut, cut. Oh, this is the closest I'm ever going to get to this. What do I do? Do I just wait? Should I look at it? Or should, should I look Maybe I should look away. Or should, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to do, man. With a new fire to start this day off right, I had my cold booty back inside a fishing hut. I hope this doesn't kill me because like the temperature. It might go down when this fire goes out, but we'll see. <gasps> yes. Yes. Come on, give me more fish. Give me more fish, please, before I die. Don't make me die. Thank you. One more. Can I get one more? I'll take two more. Damn it. That's fine. That's fine. Trying to make sure I was ready for what came next. The dam was about to be mine. Or so I hoped. I'm gonna have to go back next day. Or come back next day as well. I really forgot the lantern. Are you kidding me? The many, many things this game did teach me was patience. There was no fast travel points in games, so there was no easy ways around the map. And everything was also done on foot. Wool ear scarf? Hello? <gasps> oh! Cool! Even more stuff! I kind of like that. My first accessory. I've never found an accessory in this game. That's that's a first for me. <gasps> oh! Get, get, get! Too much I'll you, sorry, what? <laughs> I don't know what I said. Whoa, pot. There was never a moment here that didn't make me feel safer while having this rifle in hand. This thing was a beaut. I'm ready. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> that was really good. Hold on, I gotta... 
Bandage. I think it's this one. The cold was definitely getting to me by this point in, but with a nice fire to sit by and some spooky ghost stories, everything was okay. All right. Time to see what food was on the menu today. Knowing that I was running on low wood, I needed more cedar and fir firewood as it played a huge role in my survival. Later into the night, my blood pressure was about to be skyrocket. It's all or nothing, buddy. All or nothing. All or frickin' nothing. Let's go. Whoa! Mystery Lake, we meet again. I mean, what could go wrong, am I right? What the Damn it! No, 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 no! I take it back, I take it back, I take it back. I'm going back home, I'm going back home. I gotta wait until it's not this bad. Taking my travels further today, I had to plan for the worst possible weather I could, making sure I had the best possible food and water on me as well. What I'd soon find out was how damaged my equipment was, making sure to repair everything with the sewing kits I had. Now I was ready to venture forth and into a new day. Oh, this is so bad. Th I <laughs> I'm in a blizzard. Why the? Oh my god. All right. Oh, I love you. I love you. Oh, I would kiss you if I could. Stay right there. Uh, let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Close, 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 close. Oh. All right. So it's a little windy outside. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> do I have a bedroll? <gasps> I do. Interesting. We've got a fire and a bedroll. You know what? If I need to, I'll spend the night here. Fishing was always the best, but as more fish came into play, so did my stink. Yeah, I was stinky. What you gonna do about it? You want my stinky food? You want my stinky food? Come on, come on. Don't close the door. Don't worry, don't worry. I got this. I'm a professional Canadian, I think. Oh, yeah. oh. oh. Can't believe I just said I'm a professional Canadian, but oh. Now I just had to watch myself as I scurried on back home. A promise was made to do more fishing as to why I was spending so much time out on the lake. That's good, that's good, that's good. We just gotta break this open. Thankfully, I do have another knife, so I won't necessarily need to repair this one anytime soon, which is great. Uh, hours to fish. Let's say we go five hours. <gasps> Hello, guys. My name's Jeremy. I come from the land down under. I'm a little bass. I thought it was a catfish because it got stripes and little whiskers. Do I? Oh, those aren't whiskers. What are those? Are those like fins? Flaps? Something? All right. Oop. What else am I going to get? Ooh. I'm a little squirmy squirmer. Squirmy squirmer. Those ones aren't that great. Give me one more. Yeah. A common freshwater fish. Small but plentiful. Can I get one more? Oh, for me? Thank you. I did want to see what else was out there. So while having a few rundown cabins in the area, it made for the perfect place to start looking for more materials. Hello? A memento with a survival hint. I can't stomach the things, but plenty of MREs uh, down in the- Oh, this was the lockbox in the dam. Hot dam. Danger searched. First aid. Wait, hold on. How many are there? Food and drink hunting area. Yeah. Oh, I'm a rebel. Oh, I'm creating problems for people. Oh. Oh, it marks it on the map too? Oh. Oh, wow. Wow. God is good. Oh my God, that is amazing. I love that. Okay. The rest of the day felt so peaceful. Even with a cold breeze waking up my down under, I finally felt more comfortable exploring everything. With a lot more food to my name and a gun in hand, I was about to journey off into wherever this place took me. Good or not, I needed to start moving again. I need to drop something. No, you don't. It is, it is getting cold though. Very cold. If I can find a place, it'd be great. This is the Wood Adventure. Crap, what was that called? I didn't even see the name. While out and exploring new lands, a fire was always needed. Soon to find out that there was this big, beautiful B-word of an animal here. I don't even want to get remotely close to you. This whole place didn't seem that bad, and honestly, I was just looking for somewhere to keep warm. I hope I can use this. Oh, it's not gonna crack, is it? Oh! I'm too cold to think. I don't like it. Make a stop. Oh, 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 oh,
fire, fire, I need to fire, I need to fire, I need to fire. I had to pray and hope this fire would be enough to dry me off. Sadly, there just wasn't much around, and even with how far I went, I didn't feel good about making it out alive here. I did also need to dry my clothes off. The next day, I really wanted to get all the food I could. I soon realized that the pelt itself was actually very important. It was also time to see what all the hassle was about. Okay, so we have berserk. Oh, bear, berserk. Bear skin, deer skin, deer skin. Do, 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 do. Wolf skin coat. Oh! oh, 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 oh wait, 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 wait! I got this! I got this! I got this! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! With a new day and some new wares, I was feeling super great about everything. I will say though, it takes a long time to actually do one of these. Holy! I didn't think it'd take a full like thing. All right, what are we looking at? A little bit more water. It's beautiful and sunny midday. Love it. Why does he look like a clown? If you want to be Canadian, this is how you have to look. All right? I don't want to hear it. <laughs> look at that. My warmth bonus is 17 degrees and 6 degrees of windproof. The, the windbreaker stuff. While taking my beautiful yeah. rifle out for another spin, it was me or the rabbit. You must be wondering why I actually brought this rifle with me. Well, it was because I needed to find something out for myself. Crap. Um, sure. Why not? This bear took off. I'm talking quarterback style as I searched around the area. My best bet was following the blood and its footsteps. I hear you. Oh! Ooh, I was like, I'm dead. I'm dead. Like, do I even shoot? I was thinking about it. I, I was thinking about it. Oh. oh, my little guy. Oh, just gonna. How do I tattoo screenshot? There we go. Oh, I was expecting me to die too. I'm not gonna lie. I really was. That was, um, hold on. Can I get any more buff from this? The hardest thing about all this now is just trying to bring all the meat back inside a place. With a haul this big, I wanted every piece I could take. It's also that time in the video, and if you made it this far, comment moose down below. Of course, I had to go and see the loot, or rather huge amounts of food I got for my first bear kill. I planned this out great, because of all the wood I had on me to finally cook the meat down. I love my pile of meat, though. Oh, that looks great. Even at 0%, you can cook meat back to 50%. Oh, that is amazing. That is absolutely amazing. On day 34, I was excited to show you all this meat. After a little encounter that left me treating my wounds, I found some weird stuff around what looked to be an oak tree. <gasps> Acorns! Oh my god! I can't feel my hands. Yes! Oh! I wish they made 3D acorns. This is kind of hard to see, I'm not going to lie, but thank you so much. All that was really left to do was harvest down some more clothes for cloth. I just needed a couple of repairs. Day 35 would be a special day because I finally brought all the meat back I could to the camp office. Though I did start to notice how much meat was turning moldy or already there. The point of all this meat was to gain some good experience towards my skill levels. Done a certain way, I could cheese a bunch, but for now, I needed some more protection. <laughs> it's just a formioli for a bad ravioli. As you can see, I still had a little bit of time in that crafting left. Yeah, these don't even have any wind protection themselves, so this is going to be huge. Look at that. 2-2, two, 60% two, precipitation, 10 block against the windshield. What shocked me was how long the pieces of clothes from animal pelts took to make. Either most of the day was always gone, or food and water was just at an all-time low. With a new beginning here and all my clothes packed and ready to go, I just had one place left before starting anew. Oh, do I have to... Do I hold on? I can always use more food. Military grade. MRE. Oh wow, there's a lot of them. All right, well, I guess that was it. With my matches and all, this would be the perfect time to try out something different. Wabbits? Wabbit season! A lot of birds. Are there a lot of people dead here? Let the guy sleep? He's sleeping. He's sleeping. He's a heavy sleeper, I'll tell you that much. For a while, I thought this was the end for me, but nope. There was actually something coming up pretty soon. Hey, crazy, 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 crazy train tracks. I don't like this. I don't know why I'm going this far out. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. I gotta keep going. <laughs> oh, I don't like this at all. Oh boy. Oh boy. Please don't fall. Please don't fall. Please don't fall. Oh my god. Raven falls. No, it's not falls. It's not called falls. Well, the falls is to my left. I'm not looking. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, I really don't like it. Oh, I don't like that sound. 
tippy tap, 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 tippy tap. Thank the holiest of heavens because I would find a place that gave me at least my warmth back. Oh, is that a place I could go into? Oh, come here, 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 come here. Hello, hello. Hi, I'm going in. Going in, going in, going in, going in. Oh, thank God. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Bedroll, love to see it. Books for fire, I will take it. It wasn't easy doing this whole trek, but man, was it worth it to see what I found next. Oh, there are a lot of wolves out there. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, man. Oh, man. I gotta find a place I'm comfortable to stay at where I can start bringing stuff and then start doing my thing again. Every turn to this place, I found something new just waiting for me. <gasps> oh, cabin in, in, in the mountain? Maybe? I'd lay down right here if I thought I'd ever wake up again. I hope. I don't know what. Oh. That's a mine? Oh, <gasps> I want to see a mine. Oh, ho, ho, yeah. Is there, scary, is there scary stuff in a mine? Leave Coastal Highway. Sure. Oh, oh, this, okay, we might need the lantern. I love how it still shows the outside of it. That's cool. As I started to pass a few intersections and a vehicle, this was it, ladies and gents. I don't know. That seems pretty safe up there. I'm going over there. There's a sign. I don't know what that is. Like logs or wood? Something. Hold on. I'm going to get my gun out just in case. Base of operations. Found new base. Wolf, get out of here. This is my base. Get out of here. This is my place. Get. I said get. Get. What the fudge? What just happened? Did I win? Is that you or me? I think that was you, buddy. He smacked you? I Yeah, he smacked me, but I shot him. I, I th oh, did I? I shot him. All right. Oh, it's a mechanic shop. Oh, heck yeah. Wait, we don't have a place to cook, though. Oh, no. Do you have a place to cook for me in here? Maybe in here. Oh, you do? I'll take it. I'll take it. Hey, that's fine. I didn't bring a pot, but that's okay. Harvesting the rest of this wolf was about to give me full stink. Ladies, be careful now. I was a stinky, cold Canadian man, okay? Which actually was kind of relatable to me. This place was beautiful, though, because now I could just look around for so much untouched loot. Oh, hacksaw! Oh, I got a hacksaw! Oh! I know what a hacksaw is now. I didn't realize that's what the hacksaws were. Sweet. On top of a new garage with all this legendary loot, the amount of houses around me was mind-blowing. The curtain thief? Shh, don't tell them. I'm taking all the curtains. They're mine now. <laughs> We're stealing all the curtains here. Day 39, my coolest find would be something I never expected. It was pointy and loud when doing its thing. Oh, toaster. Yeah, toaster. <laughs> oh, did I drop something? Soon enough, I'd be looking out to a scary looking lake. Frozen over, sure. But if my memory served right, sometimes it would crack under too much pressure. And that left me terrified. Be careful. Be very, very quiet. It's hunting season. Come on. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Getting better at that. You love to see it. You love to see it. I wasn't sure if I was really ready for this, but thankfully there was a sign that left me thinking otherwise. The next day, part of me really wanted to survey the lands out on the frozen lake. Sadly, there was no way I was trying that right now, so the best I could do was wait and see what was up ahead. I'm sorry. Mwah. You're a cutie. Mwah. Wake up. Wake up, Jimbo! Wake up! He's not waking up! Oh my god, guys, I think I killed him! I did have a few people mention to me that taking meat one at a time was so much better, so that's kind of what I did. One by one, I would harvest this wolf. And you know what? Now it's time for a little snack. I wonder if I could hit them both. Damn it! <laughs> and 
I feel so bad. Oh, it had to make noise. I should have just killed it before it made cute noises. So I don't want to kill it. I really don't want to kill it. <laughs> I don't want to kill it. I don't want to kill it. <sighs> I'm going to kill it. Starting to weigh me down. With a full pack and a bunch of meat on me, I was more than ready to drop stuff back inside the garage. If there was one thing to never do in long dark, it was traveling on foot with no sun, no warmth, and especially no plan. I had no idea where I was headed and now I was lost. All but a car to save my life and wait out the cold winds. Hello. This anymore. <gasps> you know what we should start doing when we get back to our other place? Farm up a bunch of wood and just eat the rest of the bare meat. Um, like not because just for ever whatever sake, but like we need to start reading books. Thankfully, with the sun bringing in the warmth that I needed, this would be the next best thing to happen. <gasps> yep, okay, didn't go this way. Damn. I was lost and almost every bar on me was being drained. I was about to give up here. <gasps> Get out of my way, you stupid sticks. This is the only reason I'm living, oh my god. <sighs> Taking the time I had to really see where I was, the fishing cabins were actually right next to me, of all things. Between the coastal highway and marking down more of the map, I was on my way back to what I knew as safety. It definitely wasn't because I was lost and didn't know how to leave this territory. With everything I actually recorded down, this had to be it. The walk wasn't so bad, and with a little coffee in hand, this would take me even further. I would eventually find my way back, and with some time to spare. But level 5 seems to be like the main thing to work towards, so I want to get level 5. And then I want to find a family, you know? I want to have a family. Okay. Well, didn't know there'd be a wolf right there. Didn't hear anything. Like it wasn't enough for me to get lost and then spend all my time working my way back, water was a big one on my list as I started to pack up my things. Food was great, which also led me to reading more of my books. There was no better time to finish reading all the books I could while being back here. And it looks like all the books are good to go. It's weird that these don't disappear because the other three books I just read do, but hey. All right, so we have harvesting. Cooking's almost there with cooking the bear meat. That's going up a lot, actually. I might get four from that. Fire starting is three. Awesome. Ice fishing is like halfway almost. Rifle is pretty good. Critical hit chance increased by 10%. Two condition per, wait, two condition per repair action. And then the rest of these are pretty good too. Having read everything I did, my gear was packed up and ready to go. This was it. The only other thing I had to be careful were wolves. I was encumbered and that's the last thing I needed. Traveling throughout all the different parts of the coastal highway, it was a matter of time before I finally found my way back. Thinking that I was waking up to a new day, that wasn't exactly the case here. Oh, we're getting one of those, holy crap. We are getting one of those. Do I have a flashlight somewhere? <gasps> There's a computer. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is from Barbara Doc. Uh, Quincy Barbara. So Barbara Quincy. Cool. When the computers turn on, we can actually see what's going on in that. Oh, those are bright. Wait, the radio. Radio doesn't work. It is working! Even the flashlights started to work, and that got me thinking. If they worked, what else was operational? The mines was a perfect place to test that out. Oh, interesting. I wonder if there's going to be lights inside the place, like in a mine shaft where they have it going down the hall and that. This is this is exactly what I wanted to experience. Alright, I'm going in. I don't know what to expect, but... Ooh, spooky, that's what to expect. With a flashlight... This was probably one of the coolest things, but I also thought, how was I exactly going to get myself out here? If the Aurora ended, that was it. Having organized a little bit more today, things started to feel more at place. Again, this is where I got lost in the sauce, okay? All right, Ray, come on now. Don't mess this up. You have people watching. That's the only way I know how to get this to come over here safely. <laughs> I'm not doing anything else. Ooh, I was just breathing. I was just breathing. I used the fireplace trick. I was just breathing. And it's also getting cold. Love it. Was I insane for this? Of course. But did I really need the meat for days to come? Oh, you better believe it. Thinking of how I was going to store the remaining parts, I needed to do this quickly. Funny enough, as I tried getting out of the winds, the bear acted as a huge rock for me. This bear was mine and thus began the quarter. The quartering? Whatever. <laughs> Every fiber in my body wanted to bring all the meat back with me, but as you could see, the weather wasn't about to let me. 
With a nice juicy buff the next day, it was time to recruit extra help for taking all this bear back. 30 kilograms of meat was a buttload, and this would easily take me a couple of attempts. The amount I got from that first- oh my god, the difference? Today was all about gathering my strength for another trip ahead of me. Every day my prep was like this. First tackle the warmth if it was bad, fill my food and water, and bring any other essentials for the ride. On top of that, finding my way to and from Mystery Lake was the easiest thing ever now. I had everything memorized. Though, as fate would have it, I'd end up lost or distracted. One of the two. Oh, I did! Holy crap, I really did! Oh, good gravy! Wow, I did a thing! That's wonderful. Hold on. Do you have weird acorns? Yeah, you do. Uh, do you have a door? Where's your door? Oh, here's your door. Hello, door. Door. Uh, whoa, that gives you a lot. Holy crap. Okay. Actually, really nice. A note left behind for me. First time we've ever had a long, dark reference in the game. That's kind of cool. Little bunny. <gasps> Ammo? Wonderful. With a little distraction came more distraction and a place that would lead me to another cool territory. Alright, so this is the second... Uh, what is it, The mine? Second mine? Oh, it is Dork. How Dork are you? You very Dork? Yeah, you Dork, yeah. Oh. Soon enough, I'd have myself a nice second wolf coat as they gave me the best stats early to mid game. And just because I killed way too many. <laughs> Today, I took a break from giving myself a heart attack and searched around new places here. Where's the good stuff? Yeah, give me the good stuff. Come on, give me the good stuff. Ketchup chips, delicious. I know people don't like them. You know what ketchup chips are? This is what they are. They're just red vinegar chips. That's it. This was probably the worst thing, but I always forgot to repair my equipment. This game had a mechanic that if you lost all durability to clothes and others, it'd be considered ruined and man, that always just felt awful. Who needed the lights or lanterns when I had matches? I felt unstoppable with the hundreds of matches I had at the time. Probably not the smartest thing to use, but they were in abundance, okay? Today started out as a beautiful day, sunny and with little winds hitting my face. Though as time kept moving, so did the weather and my search for another bear. I just wanted to feel safe again and knew a bear was still lurking in the shadow somewhere. Day 56, I grabbed myself a cup of coffee and started another rescue and loot. There were many untamed cabins for the taking and I wanted more cloth. My place was in tip-top shape. Now for the last few repairs to my clothes. The hardest of the bunch that felt very limited at the time was cured leather. Most of that I found from harvesting down shoes or boots. The next day I had some extra bottles of water packed, looking to gather up more pallets of wood from outside. Sure, they took a bit of time and risk of being outside, but man did they give lots of reclaimed wood. Here was also another big problem of mine, spending too much time inside. It was never a fun time for a newbie like me. With a new thing to try and cure now, cabin fever only went away after a certain amount of time outside. Since I still hadn't explored the outskirts of the frozen lake, this felt like the perfect time. This was about to become a more serious case of the cabin fever. So now to figure out a better way to do this. I thought it was as easy as sleeping inside a little fishing hut because it was technically outside, right? At the same time, I felt like I was going through something to sit here and load up enough wood to keep warm. Somehow it worked, and as I approached the next day with a smile, I had another problem at hand. Got a little food poisoning because I had to eat everything, but that's okay. Truth be told, I never really paid enough attention to moldy or bad food. My belly was a hungry and I ate it all. I was also very stinky, but this gave me a chance to recoup and store anything away that I picked up on my little excursion. Waking up to a fully rested day today, I was headed back towards the second mine. I had to find out for myself what else was out there. Leaving. <gasps> I'm in Pleasant Valley. Oh, holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> no freaking way, I'm in Pleasant freaking Valley. This is one of those places I've been looking for too. Oh my god. This place, the Pleasant Valley location, was another safe area that I would soon come to love. As I arrived onto another road, I noticed a little village up ahead. Oh, it was a gas station. It's a- wait, is that a gas station or is that a- a whatchamacallit? Uh, the, 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 the one I was at, garage? Is this another garage? I'm a little short man today. Uh, oh no, no garage. But lots of stuff that could potentially be here. This place was surreal. This is the Thompson's Crossing Community Hall. There's weekly bingo at the community hall and it's Wednesday at 8 p.m. guys, don't be late. The thing that truly caught my eye was this beauty of a thing. You have, oh, you have a full on kitchen. You have a, oh, <laughs> these are awesome guys. 
<laughs> so we can take the pot, put it down. Oh my god. Are you kidding me with that? Six of them? There was no way I wasn't about to explore all I could. I mean, come on now. This place was freaking awesome. Part of me definitely wanted to migrate everything over, but I also knew that it would take way too much time. Things were limited, so it made sense, but walking that much just seemed like a no-go. Adding my little corner of shame today, I noticed something that I needed to get rid of. Tricky thing with food poisoning, my HP would drop faster than normal, and I just wasn't a fan of that. This also left me at another loss, because I still wanted to head back towards the garage. So, another storm. Yay. <laughs> and it drained my temps so much faster. Double yay! The plan was to just sit still and wait the storm out, but this game wasn't having it. Thankfully, the mines were close and I wasn't completely lost. One place I did take some time to revisit was Mr. Lake. I was looking to grab the bear pelt I left many moons ago. Nothing would stop me now and soon enough I would have everything for the first bear pelt equip. All I needed to check now was inside the office camp. Something amazing was going down. Yes! Oh, yeah, let's go! Hold on, how do I craft? Um... How much time did- Oh my god, 7.5 hours. Uh... Oh, I got my first bow. Let's also eat some food. Fresh cooked bear meat. You guys aren't going to like me for this, but I clearly didn't read anything or even remember what I did read about the bow. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. You're not running away. I you are you serious? You're not doing that. I don't care if I have to use three shots. Carcass level four. Nice. The coolest trick in game was the spray cans. They left me little breadcrumbs just in case I ever forgot where I was headed. Day 67 was planned to be a fishing day. Things definitely took me off the beaten path and struggling for my life. I really thought this was it. The whole point of me going back to Pleasant Valley was to explore and find everything I had in mind. Some would say I was crazy, trying to bring everything back to this place. That wasn't me. I just had bad memory and left most of my stuff all over the place, which also left me struggling to tame the cold temps. With a few torches and some hot food to keep me warm throughout my travels, I fell into another wolf's trap card. <laughs> Damn it, didn't work. Oh my god, I thought it would've worked. Oh, I really thought it would've worked. Wow, that was stupid. <laughs> that was so dumb. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill you. These suckers just didn't want to stop. Anywhere I went, it was like I was a magnet to these SOBs. This was proof that I was in the right area. Everything just felt much safer than previous days. Oh, it's a cutscene, so it's an actual thing. <gasps> Ooh. I like, I like, I like. Oh, ho, ho. We have a bunch of dog food. I don't trust dog food anymore. I know you guys. I know your tricks. Oh, this is how you fell. Okay. Right, wait, wait. Hold on. Oh, all right. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. Thank goodness. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh my god. Damn. All right, I can one shot bears now. I hope that's true, because if it's not, then I'm gonna, I'm, I might kill myself by accident. If that wasn't proof enough, then check out this wonderful looking farmstead. Oh, ho, 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 ho. this might be my new home. Do da, do da. Hold on, I wanna, I wanna try to sell. It's got a grain bin. Can I? Are those usable? Something's gotta go. What? Oh, look! This is our first basement. This is totally my home. This is so my home. I'm gonna, I'm gonna homeify it up so much. Oh my god. Yup. I don't know when or how, but this would eventually become endgame location to retire and call it quits in. Or at the very least, die next to. Day 70, I realized how lucky I was. The stove was beautiful with its six burners, a fridge for food because why not? Even this cool partition while being outside. I could definitely use that to my advantage one day. This was like a bad joke because I still didn't know why the arrows didn't do any damage or just broke on contact. Now I'm going to show you real pain, okay? Because for some reason I still went through with it and tried to bring everything from one place to the next, but man, oh man, was that just slow and painful and oh, what a process that was. I felt like I was also being pranked. Like, no way, this was for real. Are you kidding me? This was painful, and I just didn't know what else to do in game. Understandably, I picked myself up and dusted myself off. Panic was definitely setting in right now because, again, I was told I spent too much time inside. <laughs> I was so upset here. The best thing I could think of was just waiting outside and playing to my advantage with the winds. I even had a fire throughout later parts of the night. Everything was looking great finally. That said, I had to get outside and start doing stuff again. Mr. Nice Ray wasn't here anymore. 
I had the best of the best going for me and wouldn't leave anything to chance here. Look at this punk. He really thought he could mess with me too? The fishing huts were easily my go-to for now, up until I could find a better way to be outside and safe. What I did fall short of was tools. I had to start future-proofing my stuff. Everything was starting to break down and I was starting to fall to single digits. At first, I thought I could just find more knives or hatchets inside these different huts. It looked like I looted almost everything, so now I had to start thinking about finding a forge. Something I knew too little about. Oh, you thought I was playing around? Oh, I don't think so. Who do you think I am, little wolfie? Killing all wolves in sight was on my agenda. At least the ones that thought they could tussle with me. Today would be the last day I visited that office camp. I wanted all pelts to guts and anything else left behind. One after the next, wolves came and went. But their guts stayed with me. As long as I aim in, it'll follow me. This is why I don't play FPS games, because I'm so goddamn good. Most of today was spent cleaning out my guns because I may have used them way too much. I was tired of being a play toy for the animals, and sure, my bear meat was no more, but my pile of fish was looking promising. Day 79, I hit the jackpot. The mother load, if you will. And they still kept coming. Oh my God, look at this. This is a new fish. Holy crap, look at that. 1,500 calories. I'm actually gonna cook this one and eat it. Look at that. Wow, that is nice. Not only was there one pile of juicy fish, but now I had a second and no idea what to do with. There was only so much food one person could eat. Did that stop there? Oh God, no. I still wanted more. <laughs> Truthfully, I was looking to level up my fishing as much as I could while being back in Mystery Light. Fish and all, I was ready to finally leave this place. It was fun, but now was also the time for so much more. I hope it's, there's three wolves. Oh my God, this is so much ammo. Wait, wait, because he saw him die, maybe he's running away. Oh, thank God. Whew, all right. Day 82 would teach me that I wasn't ever truly safe. And if I ever became overconfident in myself, I'd learn some cold hard facts. This is not good. This is not good. Wish I could fight back. All right, how dead are we? How dead are we? Obviously, I did hit the bear and pretty good as I followed the trail of blood. But my goodness, I should have been dead there. Oh, jeez. We almost, like, I almost died. I, like, was so close to dying there. I also forgot about my clothes that were destroyed or ruined. Not only did I have hypothermia, but I also had the frostbitten wrist now. Chopping up the bear into quarters was great the next day, and albeit I left it for too long. I just wanted the bear pelt because that was about to be my bread and butter. Today, I'd have to wait for the pelts to be all dried up. So for now, it was time to hit up any new territories. Peekaboo. Oh, <gasps> peekaboo. Hello. But this is the new location we're at. Are you ready? This place is crazy. Finally entering this place, something called the Desolation, I think. I just didn't want to fight another wolf again. I was tired of them. If I'm being honest, this time I really should have just fought it because not only did I fall into the water as I froze up, I did it a second time thinking I could beat the cracks. I just wasn't comfortable trying to overcome this obstacle and seeing that every inch of me was wet, I needed to dry myself off. This cabin in front of me, guys, let me tell you, this place actually saved my life. It really seemed like this game was trying to tell me something. With another wolf attack almost taking my head off and tearing up more of my clothes, man, I was just ready to nuke the game. Rather than yelling, kicking, and screaming, the smart thing to do was start using the wolf pelts I had, crafting myself a second one for extra protection and to fill the slot. Seeing that I was risking a fever cabin for this, it was totally worth it. What I did learn much later into the game too, jumping inside a vehicle for repairs was such a great way to stay of the cold oh yeah and sleeping in a vehicle that that's a thing too you could do that i don't know whoops 
<laughs> my bad. Next on my to-do list was looking for any extra pelts I might have had laying around. If I needed a pair of deerskin boots, that meant I needed more pelts. What I did love was how good venison was. And man, I should have just looked for these bad boys. <laughs> Giving this thing about 40 hours of work because that's what it needed. I was risking it all for an even worse cabin fever. Thankfully, it was better than I could have hoped for because the warmth was amazing now. The winds didn't affect me as much and I had a few friends to say hi to. This is that part of the video where I started screaming, oh God, oh God, oh God. <laughs> As you could imagine, I just had to get all this meat back inside, getting the pelt to dry off as fast as it could too. This would easily complete my outfit and all. With day 94 here, I found yet another really cool thing, looking for any survivals while close by. It had an inside to peruse through and even some storage just in case that wasn't enough. With the last few days upon me, this was about to become something amazing. I'd ride it out into the storm and because it just wouldn't stop, but I put about 70 plus hours into this game. That said, I wanted to say thank you guys just for being such wonderful people and still supporting me to this day. It goes without saying, but I am just so grateful for everything you've all done for me. And this is Ray Panda signing out. Bye guys! <laughs>